<laughs> for me, I have to say good morning. Let's link up now with Willis. Take it away. All right, here we go. We are chilling. All right, so yeah, uh, thanks, as you can see there, that is some dates. Yani, what some of you ladies still want to go on. <laughs> some dates were there, some uh, bananas, and beautiful ingredients because today it's all about uh, uh, making some Ramadan delicacies. Matokeetu, iko tayari sana. The table is spread with some kaimatis, spread with some beautiful, beautiful uh, fruits. And guess who's back? Chef Aliman. <laughs> It's all about Ramadan. We're going to do some beautiful Ramadan recipes. It's very simple. People mistake Ramadan with uh, a feast, basically. Like It is a feast, but it's supposed to be healthy. It's supposed to be a meal that you'll eat and you'll balance it. You'll eat it and you'll eat it and you'll eat it and you'll eat it. So we're going to make a meal. <laughs> so we're just gonna make an amazing uh, recipe that's basically gonna be like you know from staple ingredients like you know the matoke, the pumpkin that we normally get with a bit of some coconut sauce and all. Have it, have some fun with it, and of course now enjoy with some fruits. Lovely tea, of course, by Creature Gold, and yeah, we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, of course, your courtesy of Gold Hills Hotel, they always help us with this beautiful, lovely spread and and setup as well. Chef Willie really Biakwab. Yes, good morning, our viewers. Uh, Chef William from Gong Hills Hotel. We are along Gong Road and today we are going to have Ramadan dinner. So stay there. We are going to ask you a question. If you get it right, you win yourself for dinner at Gong Hills. Ramadan dinner. Yes. Welcome. Happening here, and I have a really hot pan happening as well. So I'm just gonna—I you know, I just boiled the matoke with a bit of some salt. The tip with boiling matoke is that you want to boil it with salty water, and then you want to get rid of all the excess water. So ni nchato elemaji alafu sababu nikuweka tu nazi kidogo na kuendelea kupi. Ono na ni ni na salt water. Manake, you know, you want to get rid of that starch, and sometimes that starch makes the matoke turn into a dark color. Uh, all the time. So sayo utapika matoke utone me kwenye usi meshengani vipi it's basically that starch so you wanna boil it and remove all the excess water and now continue cooking it. Sao? So badaya tu wache tokote kidogo sao tuwanze kutengeza nyama hapa. Tokote tokote lakini nyama tu watengeneza. So we have filler steak here and uh, filler steak is basically it's gonna go straight into the pan with the kijiko kidogo yep straight into the pan Gonna give them a bit of some fire. Fire bomb, get ready now. We're gonna do the fire. 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 As Chef Koenang would say, it's smoking. In terms of smoking, so that it is like smoking. You smoke them. Fire. Fire burn them things. We're gonna do right here. Power break for sure thing. Yep. So the recipe is gonna run, of course, on screen. It's very simple. We have some garlic, ginger. We have uh, lime juice, and we're gonna do a bit of some cumin seeds. So look at that. So it's branded citizen already. It's basically cumin. I like to do whole cumin because it brings in a lot of flavors. So when you just throw it on the beef, it's just gonna bust with amazing, gorgeous flavors in there. Just gonna saute. Now we should be good. Alright, we're just gonna let this cook for like uh, 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah, because filler steaks cook really fast. So it's just gonna cook and then send the lapa la pole. But for now, let's make our matoke. So you're about to eat it. 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 It will be an amazing meal. So we'll have matoke in the mix and then we'll have the. Uh, yeah, let's just try and get rid of all the matoke so we start sorting. So we'll have matoke in the mix. Yes. A bit more. Let's remove everything from here and get a nice pan and then we start sauteing pole pole sauteing pole pole is the next next step so it's a g mafuta so it's a g mafuta kiasi and then now we're gonna go in with uh... sorry you can see that we're gonna go in with a bit of some onions you know you want to uh... kinda like you know get a nice translucent soft uh... onions in there you get beautiful flavors right. in it. You just want to so take it. Don't go up. I'll have to make a garlic, ginger, and dill. You see that? 
We have some garlic, a blend of garlic, ginger and dill. This is ideal when you make it at home, very simple. All you need is garlic, ginger, and you need some dill and a bit of some oil. You blue, blue, dill. Dill, eh. Okay, okay. Now, we're going to make dill. We're going to make a dill, pal. We're going to want to cook a dill, come on, a dill. We're going to want to cook a dill, come on, a dill. What are you going to make a dill? It's very flavorful. It's a hub. It's very flavorful. What you want to do is just blend everything together. You can chop them. You can blend everything together. Put it in a little container and store it in the fridge. It can keep there for months. It's very easy. You don't need to mash everything like every day. Like, oh, nasaga or naeka, store it in So one good uh, teaspoon of that mixture brings in a beautiful flavor. And then you just want to koroga vizuri. Nice. Look at that. I'm getting all the flavors that I need. Look at that aroma. Yeah. <laughs> Great, so at this point it's nice and translucent. I want to go in with the metoke. Right? Kachumbi kiasi. Yep. Chumbi kiasi. Yep. Nice. Okay. And then now you want to mix them up together. So you get all the, like, you know, the onions are covering on top. Like, they're going to come on as the karanga karanga sasa zile, matoke yako pale. Alafu badapo sasa, you need a sauce with this matoke. Sauce, right? For the sauce with the matoke, we're going to use some coconut. So we have some lovely coconut milk. Coconut milk ingredient put in there as well. Polo polo tu, kobari yagi. The tisha ime ingilia na vzuri, hafu na idungilia hapo hivo. And then now you want it to cook until it's going to be nice and thick. This is my favorite, very... So I'm going to the way it looks, it looks like uh, we're about to do this. Then I'm going to cook it already. I'm going to cook it already. I'm going to cook it already. It's 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 cook it already. Tuko sawa na matoke yetu. Tundio? Yeah. Kwa hala mwa shibu yetu. Kwa kama daka, daka tatu hivi, tendela kuhu vizuri, mm -hmm. lakini kwa sasa tutumumze pia kuhusu other things that we have. There. Yes, right, so what do you have uh, uh, over here for uh, Ramadan? I have uh, eat a grape. Yeah, right? So do, do, do you want to say basically what, what's in this bajia, like in terms of, uh, is, is it viazi ama? Yes, Mika kaka vizu mamadonge? Yes, this is potatoes, uh -huh. we have dania, uh -huh. this uh, garam flour, yes, flour. Uh, yes uh, and uh, some eggs inside so you mix them together and then you deep fry right. yes so more of like there's a vama, vama donge, but of course in a very different way like one is mekatwa zimekatwa refu refu look at that yes. eh viazi vama donge viazi vama donge with a twist with a twist only with a twist ikona dania ndani tena hapa alafu tena imekarangwa alafu of course tende which is tende tell us about this uh uh, why tender is so important in this in this whole process? Number one, it is a, a it is a fruit that our Prophet Muhammad normally used to eat like every other day in the morning. He used to have that and probably like just water and that's it. It's an amazing diet, I would say. Uh, you can just have it on its own. It's very healthy and rich with a lot of nutrients, and you know, it's amazing. So we break our fast with that. It's uh, more I would say more religious, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it's very sweet as well. So it's nice and it's amazing. You can make a lot of things with the dates. You can, um, uh, you can make a uh, smoothie with the dates. You know, you can make a lot of things. These days, I even make cakes with dates. Mm -hmm. So it's really important during Ramadan, like we break our fast with that or water, depends on what you have. So it eases you into the yes, the meal boosts you. It okay. boosts you, like you know, to go into that meal. But of course, it's also an amazing uh, <laughs> meal or so. <laughs> an amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, on a date, so on a date. <laughs> yeah, amazing. And then, of course, now we have kaimati. Kaimati is basically a very staple uh, during Ramadan. It's uh, more of like flour dumplings. It's fried, deep fried. And then, either have it the way it is, you know. I'm talking about healthier options. Let's have it the way it is. But you can also sprinkle some sugar on top. Or you can, like, you know, cook sugar and, like, put it on the pan. And we have nice coating of sugar on top. And, you know, that's more of it. Of course, our lovely tea. We're yes. going to have some spiced tea. Spiced tea, yeah, baby. Amazing. Yeah, today we're going to have spiced tea. Of course, too, we love our masala tea back home uh, in Mombasa. So we'd love to do that. And, of course, now our fruit. Fruit ziko sawa. Grapes nitoa zidi kula. Mwepo mwepo kama... Garnish, like in the 
sisi tunatia tu ndani haya grapes fruit ndani sasa tu kumalizia chakula chetu matoke yetu hapa yes. now we have the meat it's already done we're just going to take that meat now we need to combine these two delicacies so we're going to take the meat asa ina kwa ni matoke ya na nyama simeona tena Ah, yeah, malafu na chatena endele kuiva tena lafu hapa ukipakua. And you know Ramadan it's a feast, eh? Mm-hmm. It's not it's not it's not going to be nothing on a plate. It's going to be basically on a big platter mm-hmm. where everyone's going to eat together. It's going to be a fantastic meal. And of course, just garnish it with a bit of some uh, sorry, some coriander. Garnish it na coriander. We will work with some coriander under. Ndio uh, wake up poa. Alafu sasa wao na ngoja ipoe alafu ndo tukule. Toa la kukula hatuna shida tunaendelea. Naona tutachukua break kidogo lakini tukirudi tutaendelea kufanya pumpkin yetu. Si ndio tutafanya pumpkin yetu leo ama tuendelee tu tuendelee kwanza kidogo kidogo kwa sababu hiyo lazima ipoe ndo tukule. Ya very good. Heki lazima ipoe. Kuna pumpkin hapa next one the hashtag to use for breakfast and stay tuned because we're going to ask you a few a, a question. If you get that question right you can go to Gong Hill Hotel along Angong Road and you'll be able to have a you call it iftar. If, yes. iftar dinner today at at Gong Hill Hotel so the question like right now so that people can start tweeting, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, it's really interesting. So if you're watching the preparation of the Matoke, watch up before you get the meat. You 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 boil it in dash water. Yeah. What what kind of water do you use to boil the matoke so that you get the flavor and and it doesn't turn black? What kind of water do you use? If you answer that question, use the hashtag for breakfast. You can tag at Citizen TV Kenya, Chef Ali Mandri, Joey underscore Mudengi, and Willis Raburu. Answer that question. If that be a many two, many for two. Simple. Like you don't have to go and do more, but you eat for two. So it's up to you. It's up to you. Thank you, God. But okay, to end the lecture, we're just sasa. What we're basically gonna do now, we're just boiling some pumpkin. So this is basically can be pumpkin or butternut. We want them to boil until nice and soft. And then now we're going to continue with this is basically going to be a sweet dish because now we already have like you know a savory dish and then uh the savory dish and we're going to have a sweet dish which is going to go with a bit of some cardamom coconut sauce you know it's going to be fun let me share my favorite uh, ingredient cardamom mm. Kenda sana. Tunaita ili kipia. Sasa kwa hivyo vizuri baada ya kuiva sasa tunaanza kusprinkle makadamu kidogo, kashuge kwa mali and then we add in some coconut sauce. It's going to be a lovely dessert. It's basically a warm dessert served typically back at the coast in Mombasa for Ramadan and uh, it's an amazing delicacy at the end of the day. You know we, we love our coconut. So every meal during Ramadan normally has coconut because we come from the coast. Ama tunachuma yenye ile madafu, si ndio? Ama nazi, 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 nazi pale. Mkuchuma si kuchuma. Mkuchuma, kuchuma. Okay. Kiswahili leo pia ni melan ukuvu usikule hadi uvim uvi uvimbiwe. Uvimbiwe kisha tuendelea kutoka kutokosa tutokosa pale mlo mchuzi rojo rojo na tutokosa vizuri i love you of course not forgetting that we're going to do a faluda faluda is basically a uh, uh, a drink that's a very staple for ramadan uh, you can use raw syrup for that today we're going to use syrup we're just going to use ice cream because it's really simple for you guys to do at home we're just going to use some vanilla ice cream milk and then we're going to go in with a bit of some vermicelli let me show you some vermicelli do i have vermicelli yes i have Great. Ati angoseli. Mimi nafikia angoseli. Vermicelli ni? We're going to use tambi, tambi. So we're going to use some vermicelli. It's basically going to be an amazing amazing drink. It's nice. It's more like a meal on its own at the end of the day but enriched with beautiful flavors. Tunakuna tambi, tukona nuts, we're going to do a bit of some jello, we're going to do some chia seeds as well. You know, we need to detox. I'm sure yeah, mimi chai seeds na vijua. Hizi zenye mimi ni ni kali kidogo. Ni kali lakini nzuri sana. They're very good for detox. For detox. Mtani mtavunaji what you are looking at ukikula hiki tu tafadhali uwe karibu na the white throne ukiwa nyumbani you must be ready to sit on the white throne for a long time but it's good it cleans there it's a, it's a very good detox it cleans so what we do we use a little bit of it into that um faluda we're going to make so it's going to be a layer of vermicelli a layer of that and of course a layer of some jello and then we're going to do a scoop of ice cream and then we're going to do some milk on top it's going to be delicious some pistachio nuts some almonds it's going to be amazing 
the meal itself mimi na wewe tu hiyo haja bwana kitu ambacho tunaona hiyo lazima tufanye kitu inaitwa uh, the official testing uh, lazima tujue kama are the flavors intact usiogope kuweka nyama mingi mo very good any ladies in a fine dining ile ile fine dining matoke ya nazi matoke ya nazi and really this is very interesting to find out how this tastes Sasa bado kutania masio. Hapo sawa, hapo sawa. Alafu sasa wewe utafanya official testing mimi nitakusikia. Shikia kidude. Sasa mpe mpe kijiko jamani ama kijiko. Mpe uma ni ume. Kijiko ume. Lakini wajua watu wakifunga Ramadhani watu wafai kukula. So nawakilisha. I'm just making sure that this meal that we prepared mkifungua after mshakula dates ukiwa kwenye date. Kisha wewe leo ukufunga sio? Moto, ni moto. Ni tutu tutu kwenye nyama pamoja. Zote zote mbili pamoja. Afa na police kidogo. Police kidogo. Tazamaji ni ngumu sana kufanya hii kazi because si ati nataka mkuu na tamaa ama muone nikikula. Mtazamaji na wajali. So I have to take it upon myself. It is service to the country to taste this food on your behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, observe Mm. 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 My goodness. You want to see a touch of sweetness? Of course the coconut makes a big difference. Like this thing is too good though. I even want a jerio. It is too good though. You know it's very simple to make. Number one, it's amazing, really simple, very less ingredients. Like the normal ingredients you can make like uh, you can get every other day in the local supermarket. So pff, bang, you have a lovely meal. Because I've got it on the right so we look we're going to take a quick break and when we come back we're going to continue to make this pumpkin and coconut sauce and we're going to make a lovely faluda. Keep it here.